Okay, on board two, I'm going to run through this pretty quickly, so you'll probably want to pause the video and take some notes. But here's the function. Uh, and I've set the values of A and B to these values, four-thirds and negative two, respectively. And this table seems to indicate that those values work, that this function will equal zero or approach zero uh, with these values of A and B. And the graph kind of indicates that, too. The question is, how did I come up with those values? Well, we want... The limit as x approaches 0 of this expression right here to equal 0. Now let's focus on just this part right here, which is what I've written down here. But I've combined these two fractions into one fraction, so I can apply L'Hopital's rule. Uh, if I let substitute x equals 0 in here, I get the sine of 0, which is 0 over 0, so indeterminate form. So I'm going to apply L'Hopital's rule and take the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. Uh, the derivative of, uh, whoops, this bx should have been uh, out there. I forgot that other parentheses. There we go. Um, is 2 cosine 2x for the sine of 2x, and the derivative of bx is b. The derivative of the denominator is 3x squared. Uh, if I try direct substitution again, I can see I've got 0 in the denominator. So in order to apply L'Hopital's rule again, I want a value of b that will make this numerator equal to 0. So I'll still have an indeterminate form. So I'm asking the question, if x is 0, what value of b will make this numerator 0? And that turns out to be negative 2. So I've replaced this b with negative 2. We get the first part of our answer. If I try direct substitution, I now get 0 over 0. So applying L'Hopital's rule again, the derivative of this 2 cosine of 2x is, here I've shown all the pieces, uh, which gives us negative 4 sine 2x over 6, 6x. If I try direct substitution again, I get 0 over 0. I can apply L'Hopital's rule again, and I finally get the limit as x approaches 0 of negative 8 cosine of 2x over 6. Now when I try direct substitution, I get negative 4 thirds. Okay, so the limit of this first expression is negative four-thirds and what we want to end up with zero so that means the limit of this constant must be positive four-thirds four-thirds plus four thirds negative four-thirds is zero okay there you go hope that helped if you have any questions post a comment